the education program leader for the National Music Center, coming at you today from Studio Bell. What is a synthesizer? A synthesizer, or a synth, is a musical instrument that gives you control over the flow of electricity to create vibrations. Here is a synthesizer that's on display at Studio Bell, home of the National Music Center. A Moog Modular Synth. Now, this instrument is a bit scary, but today I want to explain every piece you see on this super complicated machine using a toy. Just like the Moog Modular Synth, inside this box is a synthesizer, a musical instrument that turns electric signals into sound. This toy was made by two companies. Little Bits makes toys that help teach about electricity, using magnets to create circuits, and Korg has been making synthesizers for a couple of decades now. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So for this to be a musical instrument, we need to make this object vibrate. This bit is my speaker. And of course, I need energy to make this speaker go, so I will use this battery. The battery has a wire to connect it to a switch that can turn it on or off. I can turn this on and then make a circuit from my battery to the speaker and... So I'm going to need more than a source of energy and a speaker. A 9 volt battery is what we would call DC or direct current and the electrons only flow in one direction. And the electrons flowing in one direction will only make the speaker move in one direction. So we have oscillators which take the direct current and alternate its direction back and forth it makes the speaker move back and forth in a vibration-y sort of way. So if I put them together, this should make a vibration. Now, just making a sound does not make a thing an instrument. I have to be able to control the vibration. So here is my first control access point. This is a knob. But the technical term is a potentiometer. Or a pot. If you've ever used a dimmer switch, that's a potentiometer. Just like a water tap. This increases and decreases the flow of electricity. Potentiometers can be used on synthesizers to control both pitch and volume. This bit has one more control, a switch labeled waveform, and it gives me two choices, square or saw. This is square. Here's saw. The different waveforms give me very different timbres. We talked a bit about waveforms when we were looking at oscilloscopes, but this paints a picture of how the electric signal is moving back and forth. Oscillators are one of the most important parts of the synthesizer. In fact, on our Moog modular synth, this entire section is oscillators. So I have a source of power, a source of vibration, and some vibration controls. The next bit I want to look at is called a filter. I've spoken before about how our vocal cords make a very messy timbre, and our head is used to shape that sound into different vowels and consonants. What our head is actually doing is making certain parts of the sound louder and other parts quieter through resonance. Well, the filter is like the head. So let's put a filter in my chain. Wow, wow, wow. Square and sawtooth waveforms are pretty raw sounds, and filters allow you to shape them. On our Moog Modular synth, there are a few different kind of filters in these sections. At this point, I want to give myself some more control over the starting and stopping of notes. So here I have two choices. I have this, which is actually a keyboard or this, which is a sequencer. With synthesizers, on-off switches can really come in whatever shape you want. It's just keyboards happen to be one of the best patterns for musicians to understand what they're doing, so most synths do use some kind of keyboard. So at this point, I do have quite a lot of control over my sound, but the start and stop of this note is so mechanical. So the next bit I'm going to add is called envelope. And we actually spend a, quite a bit of time talking about envelope in our video about violin bows. 
Very few notes in nature have this solid start and stop. They come into existence and then fall away. I have this little bit with a switch that allows me to choose between two things. Random voltage. And the other switch on here is noise. This bit is called a delay. A delay can take the whole electronic signal and then loop it, making an echo effect. The delay gives me two controls. I have time, how fast the echo happens, and then feedback, which is how much the echo happens. If I crank that all the way up, The last two pieces here are just wires to split my signal and put it back together. This is my splitter, and then this is my mixer. And that's basically it. This is what a synthesizer does. We want to make a speaker vibrate. Power. Use oscillators to make waveforms. Filters to shape those waveforms. Triggers like keyboards and sequencers to make the notes go. Envelope delay and noise. The thing is, there's so many ways I can put this together and it's gonna make very different sounds. And that's where the fun comes in. Just as I can put these together in different combinations to make different sounds on the Moog modular, the patch cables or the wires are used to chart the path of the electricity. Now there's a lot that I did not cover. I haven't talked about analog versus digital, subtractive synthesis versus additive, a voltage control oscillator from a low frequency oscillator, but we're going to take it slow. Next week, let's turn on the Moog modular synth and put our knowledge to the test. Until then, happy exploring. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Also, the National Music Center is a charity that relies on donations. So if you have the means and feel like it, please go to studiobell.ca slash donate.